Hey, so yesterday we talked about how seven of the eight Ontario species of bats live right here in our backwoods at the zoo. But we also talked about how they come out at night and how do they find their way in the dark? We can often recognize when animals are nocturnal because they have great big eyes to gather the light when there's not much available. And that's what some bats do. Flying foxes uh, have that big fox-like face because they have big eyes and a big nose to help them smell the fruit that they're eating. And that works well for them because fruit is easy to find and it doesn't run away. But for bats in Ontario, they all eat insects. However good their eyesight is, it wouldn't be good enough to catch an insect flying in the dark. So what do they do? So the bats in Ontario, along with most species around the world, use sounds to find their way. So as they're flying along, they shout really loudly. And as that sound travels away, it bounces off objects in the environment and returns to them as echoes. And with incredibly sensitive hearing, they're able to detect those echoes uh, and identify objects around them that they want to avoid, like a tree, or that they want to catch, like a tasty moth. So it's pretty impressive that bats are finding their way in the dark using sound. But what's even more unique about it is that the sound they use is sound that we can't hear. It's very high frequency and above the range of human hearing. And what I have here uh, is an electronic device which simulates a bat. And if I turn it on, this speaker will play bat sounds. But we can't hear anything because it's too high frequency. So what I have here is a bat detector. And this is another piece of electronics with a microphone on the front and it converts the high frequency sounds the bats are making uh, into sounds that we can hear. So that clicking sound you can hear there uh, is the noise a bat would make as it's flying along, constantly emitting those sounds and listening to the echoes coming back. And that sound that the bats are putting out into the environment is really useful to us as bat biologists trying to find out where they are and what they're doing. Because we can use devices like this to listen in, but we can also use fancier versions like this, which is an automated recorder. So what we do to study bats uh, is we strap this to a tree and the microphone on the front here picks up any bats flying past and the device itself makes a recording of that. So when we come back to collect this a few weeks later, we have a record of every single bat that flew by the recorder uh, over that time period. And so while it's definitely interesting to know what bats were flying by when, you might wonder why we go to all the trouble to learn all about them like this. And tomorrow I'm gonna to talk about the reasons why we're concerned about bats and why we're paying so much attention to them.